Hi everyone, it's Vanessa and welcome back into my kitchen. Today we're going to do another delicious juice. We're going to do a Valentine's juice. So without further ado, I want to introduce our rock star ingredients for our juicing machine today. We have celery, we have the carrot, we have the ginger, and we have our star ingredient, our beet. And that'll give it that right, bright, beautiful, red, vibrant color. And that's it. Very, very simple. Just a few ingredients. Um, little, little heads up, ginger, you know, if you've ever used ginger, uh, a little goes a long way. I love a lot of ginger, so I can put a big chunk in there, but it can get quite spicy. And it comes in like a root. A lot of people are like, what the heck is ginger? And it just comes with a root. And you can, you know, just make sure that you wash all your vegetables really well before, before juicing them. Um, it's a great time to really, to consider using organic when you can, um, because you are definitely going to be, you know, using all of it. I mean, you've got your pulp over here, which you can use your pulp for, um, you know, to, to make some great uh, dehydrated crackers, so you don't want to waste anything. So make sure everything's cleaned really well. Some sea salt in the water, soaked for about 15 minutes, can get um, most of the residue off of your produce. So without any further ado, let's fire up my Breville baby and get this party started. There's not much juice in there. I mean, it does, you know, if there were a downside or if there is a downside to juicing, there are two things. Uh, three things, really. And that is one, you know, you've got to use a lot of produce um, oftentimes to get to yield much juice, unless you're using cucumber and use celery or, or apple. It's, you know, you do have to use a lot of produce to get some juice. And that can be a downside because it can be, you know, kind of cost prohibitive. And the, and the third part being that um, it's kind of a pain in the butt to clean your juicer. So, you know, searching high and low, I found that the Breville was really the easiest juicer to cleanse. And the big tip, tip is clean your juicer right away. I have people say, oh, I hate juicing. They said, I hate cleaning it, because then they put it in their sink, and seven hours later, they decide to go back and try to scrub the, all, all of the debris off, and that's not gonna, that's gonna be just torture. So rinse it right away, a little scrubbing around the, around the screen, and that saves you a lot. So. Let's try this juice, Let's see what it's all about. Again, grab a beautiful wine glass. Look at that, look at that color. Obviously you know why it's the Valentine's Day. And think about all these juices, such a cleansing. You'll feel delicious, you'll feel clean inside and refreshed. It's as if your, your body just sucks it up, just loves it. So. Mm. I love I love the earthy smell of beet. Oh my god, this is so good. <laughs> this is so delicious. So I hope that you'll try this simple Valentine's juice. And also make sure that you stop by and see me at VanessaChamberlain.com and enjoy all the great recipes and inspiration. And that's it. Cheers and happy health to you.